I always wanted to improve things, to solve problems and make a change for the better. Well, this is that on a global scale. Now is um, a really good time to be thinking about energy because of the challenges of climate change and some of the more geopolitical uh, aspects to that which uh, threaten energy security around the world. We are doing this by being the first company in the world to commercialize power beaming. The main problem is not generating energy. We have lots of sun, we have lots of wind. It's just that we don't have those necessarily where we need them. And so it's all about sending them from where it's easy to generate to where it's needed. Now, if you can do that without wires, if you can do that wirelessly, that means we can have much faster decarbonization, much faster energy transition, much more sustainable energy available as fast as possible with minimal impact on the environment. So in terms of how successful we've been so far, we've built a prototype for indoor use. It informed what we're doing here in Taranaki, which is a, an up, upscale version. There's nothing else like it in the world. It's not been tested before anywhere. The whole wireless power transfer concept really started for space-based applications, but nobody's really thought about applying that same technique uh, to terrestrial applications for linking renewable power sources to where they're needed, and use it wirelessly and, and solving some of the other problems with conventional wires. That's the immense significance of being out in the field. The fact that it can bring many people across that Rubicon, across that threshold of belief that it's, it's here, it's doable. Araaki is a New Zealand government-sponsored organization with a very clear mandate to accelerate the demonstration and commercialization of energy innovation to limit the impacts of climate change. Taranaki is the epicenter of energy in New Zealand, has been uh, for a while with gas and oil uh, in the region. So when they go and see the pilots in Taranaki, they will see there is a different future, there is a better future, and they get very, very excited about it. MRODS technology is long-range wireless power transfer using an electromagnetic beam. And this beam is transmitted from a transmitting antenna to a receiving antenna, and that's converted back into electricity. The technology that MRODS putting out there enables more generation to be deployed, more generation to be um, accessed, and of course more resilience for the communities. And in a way the imagination is the limits of the application of these technologies. We are developing the next stage of our technology. It's really that big leap into much higher power, much higher efficiency. It's easily scaled up for distance and power. We know how to do that and it's, um, it's really shown us that that is definitely possible. We succeed when MROD succeeds and ultimately the planet, we as human beings will succeed because we'll have a more decarbonized and a better world for our children. What keeps me motivated is the knowledge that we've, we've only really just started on this journey and that we've, we've made tremendous progress in a short space of time. In fact, I don't think we can make that move forward the way we envisage it into a greener, cleaner, more sustainable future without wireless energy. It can only get really, really exciting.